Hey guys, Jared back. I wanted to show you how to manually update your Nexus 4 to Android 4.3 right away instead of waiting for the over-the-air updates or if you're running a custom ROM having them do a lot of uh, mucking around and so on. So this is a super, super, super duper easy method. Um, you're going to need two things. One, your Nexus with a USB debugging enabled and you're going to need this tool, NCry Toolkit. So in order to get NCry Toolkit, uh, you're gonna want to, uh, I'll have two links in the description below, one to the XDA page. Uh, this toolkit was made by Crichton, and I'll have a, like I said, I'll have a link in the description to his toolkit. Uh, in order to download it, he's gonna direct you to his website, which I'll also have a link to in the description so you don't have to go rifling through the XDA page. As soon as you go to this uh, link, the second link in the description of this video, you'll come to NCry Toolkit 3.3.1. Now before we go any further, uh, this, is, this guide that I'm about to show you right now is assuming that you have your device rooted and have an unlocked bootloader. Uh, that said, you can go ahead and click on download. And uh, once that's finished downloading, you're gonna go ahead and navigate to your folder, wherever it is. Um, I actually made a folder called NCry so that I could take the um, uh, .rar or the .zip file and uh, drop it into um, this one here. And you're gonna come up with two. You, you won't be seeing all these, okay? You're gonna be seeing two things, the NCry, um, .exe as well as the ROM folder. So the one you're going to want to be using right now is called NCry, or the, the NCry executable. You're just going to go ahead and double click on that and then that'll open up this program. Once this program's open up, you can go ahead and click on one click menu. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, you're going to want to make sure that you have USB debugging enabled. So in order to do that, uh, jump into your settings and if you don't already have it uh, enabled, which most of my viewers probably will, uh, you just go into about phone and then build number and just rapid tap on build number until it says you're a developer. Once that's uh, happened, go ahead and jump into developer options and click on USB debugging like so. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is actually plug in your Nexus 4 to your computer. Uh, it might prompt up and say that there's a bunch of drivers downloading that's cool um one thing you're going to want to do is pull down your notification tray go into connect media uh, as or whatever your usb co uh, computer connection options there and click on camera ptp uh, once that happens you'll notice that it actually asks allow usb debugging just go ahead and click yes uh, once that's taken place uh, on the program itself the ncry toolkit uh, you'll notice that it says nexus is not in fast boot so what we're going to do is click on start fast boot <clears throat> now, as soon as that happens, you'll notice that our phone will eventually um, uh, reboot into fast boot mode. As you can see, it automatically did it. It just took like 30 seconds or so. So you can see we're now in fast boot mode. Go ahead, put your phone down. You'll notice now here that it says Nexus is in fast boot mode. So there's a bunch of different options uh, that you can do here. Um, down the road, for those of us that will be updating to 4.3, he'll be including something so that you can automatically do the whole one-click unlock root and recovery method. Um, again, though, for those of you that are doing this guide, uh, like I said, you want to make sure that you have root and already have your bootloader unlocked. Um, so that said, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on to SR mode here which will allow us to um, flash 4.3. Now this says allow all user data on your device will be deleted. So be aware that everything is going to be deleted. If you haven't, don't have anything backed up again, just go ahead to your Nexus 4, use the volume keys to navigate until this particular strip here says power off. You can go ahead and press the power button to click the enter button. That'll power off the device. You can boot back up again and back up any files you need to back up. So we're assuming that risk. So it's going to ask you, which Nexus device do you have? We're going to go ahead and select the Nexus 4. Uh, which Android version? Now, this isn't asking you which Android uh, which Android version like you're coming from or that you have. This is asking you which one you want to um, uh, basically restore to. So this is actually restoring, as you can see here, one-click restore. So we're tricking our device into thinking that we want to restore to Android 4.3, but we're actually basically loading 4.3 onto our Nexus. So I'm going to click 4.3. Now, I'm going to click Start. And um, uh, it actually says for me, overwriting existing N4 restored data.zip file. Um, that's because I've actually already downloaded this. So I actually already have 4.3 on my device right now, but I wanted to show you guys how to do this. So I'm gonna click no, um, you guys won't get that prompt. So there we go. Uh, so my bootloader's unlocked and it's doing all this good stuff now. So uh, for you guys, what it's gonna actually end up doing is downloading, automatically downloading Android 4.3 for you. It'll probably take about five minutes. It goes really, really fast, trust me. Um, 
now it's just going to be basically doing it. So once it's done downloading, it'll automatically jump in and start doing its thing. It'll start flashing it and everything like that. Like once it starts downloading, you just walk away from your computer for about a half an hour, come back and it'll be rebooted into the uh, welcome screen. But we'll show you uh, on camera here just what that looks like. So as you can see, your device is also going to start flickering. Okay. So that's basically doing stuff. As you can see, it's installing things, it's white things and, and everything. Um, currently on my device, it actually says uh, writing. Well, it did say that it was writing. It might come back on right now. But uh, anyways, so just let it be. Walk away from your computer and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, so the process uh, finished on the program here. As you can see, it says stock ROM was flashed, flash process finished. And you can see my phone is now rebooting. It backed out of that screen. We're back at the selection screen to see what we want to do. At this point, you can go ahead and unplug your Nexus 4 if you want to. You don't need that anymore. You can go ahead and close down um, and cry toolkit, exit out of there. And uh, we'll just go ahead and wait for this to um, finish booting. So while we're waiting, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but um, this method doesn't actually inject root uh, into Android 4.3. So I'm going to make a separate video uh, also in the interest of keeping this video shorter on how to root your Nexus 4 once it's on Android 4.3. Uh, so as you can see, we are fully booted up. We're going to go ahead and just kind of whiz through the um, setup here. Go ahead and skip, skip, skip. Yeah, thank you. And we'll jump back into our settings and go to about phone just to kind of show to you guys that um, it is in fact Android 4.3 and as you can see Android 4.3 anyways guys that's it I hope you liked your video congratulations you've now got the latest version of Android on your Nexus device which is why we do this isn't it uh, <laughs> anyways guys thanks for watching I hope you liked this video if you did click that likes button down below don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future and you can always stay updated in all things of smoking android by following me on twitter and google plus those links are in the description below as well that's it we'll see you in the next one cheers guys